Hey everybody, what's up? Mason the Mason. In this video, I'm going to be laying a stone wall. So the last time I taught y'all how to lay stone, I was doing it on a chimney. This time we're doing it on a wall under this house. So a little bit different. Uh, so what I got started here is I laid out uh, two boxes of stone and put them all out a little bit away from the wall so I'm not getting them dirty. I kind of spaced them out so I can see what I have to work with. So yeah, just you know, so I can pick them out real easy. I already have a corner established. Somebody else did, but I'm coming to finish this side. So I got that, and uh, I also put a level line across here. So yeah, I put the level line right across there. Right. So now, the thing that's different this time is I can't have one straight line going all the way across, but I want to hit that every once in a while, you know, so all my uh, rocks look level so being all twisty and turny and stuff that's how I like it so I'm gonna have a level line and like every two rocks I'm gonna you know dip it or pick it up whatever so I got everything here that you're gonna need so I have a three buckets of water I use a drill and a bit like that and that's just to keep it clean after mixing I got my nasty bucket here that I keep using for the mud because I don't want to need a bunch of buckets all <laughs> nasty like that. Okay. Uh, I use a small trowel. You can use whatever kind of trowel you want. I use a brush to help clean it up after I scrape the joints out with this. Then I have a wire brush and a scrub brush for cleaning up. I got a bag of quickcrete, stone veneer mortar, veneer stone mortar, whatever. I got normal bonding agent, which I mix in with the mortar got this little bucket and a paintbrush to paint the back with bonding adhesive so it's just a little different this is a little bit extra but I want to make sure these stones never pop off so that's why I do I go above and beyond with everything I do in my life so you know, I'm gonna do that here too so first step is I'm gonna mix some mortar all I do is I got my water bucket here and uh, I dump in well make like half a bucket of mortar and you know i dump in like a six count of uh the bonding agent so i'm gonna mix that up show you what it looks like so that's what you want it to look like and i usually do a half a bucket at a time because i'm by myself and i don't like the mud blowing up and i don't like to shake it up all the time all right now i'll talk about uh, what we're doing now that i got some stone on the wall you know it looks good all right so I found my piece here, right, my sticker, right in there. I use my fingers as spacers, close enough. You know, I got a big spot, but you know, all right. So I, apparently you don't need to do this, but I like, you know, just in case, I don't want my stones to fall off ever. So I put that bonding adhesive on there and I get this scoop of mud. Slap her on there pretty thick. Smooth the edges down. Down, 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 and then I come through the middle, take out all that excess. And I also go around it one time, like that. Might be a little excessive, but it's just what I like to do. That way I don't make a mess on my stones. Then I go over here. That, I never change it in my hand either, I always keep it the same. Then I come over here, stick it right back where I had it, hit her in. Make sure I got a good spaces on them. That's it. You hold it, put it on the pole, a little tight there. That's okay. Okay, and then I just uh, take that excess, I seal the top with it. Pretty much it. All right. Now, let's talk about how I laid it. All right, so I got my level line. I got my level line right there, right, that red mark. So you can see right here was my line. Where, where was it? Down here, down there, right? Split it after three rocks. Then I'm over here, one, two, 
three, four, split it. All right, so that's how I can keep my stones kind of level. I got a little curve going on there. I don't know what happened, but it's all right. Everything's looking good. Another thing, I don't want to go more than three when I stack them up, when I split them. So right here I got one, two, three, and then I make sure to cross them. I don't ever want to go over three having a straight up joint, you know what I mean? And then likewise, going this way, I want to, I'll go four sometimes, but usually no more than three where you put a split in it like that. And the next thing I do is once it starts getting kind of crusty, I go through and I clean out all the uh, excess mortar, you know. So I'll just chop it out with, a, with one of my slickers here. Make sure that it all... That way when you grout it in, right, it fills all the way back to the wall and bonds to the wall and the stone and everything and it makes it stronger, you know what I mean? Because you don't want your mortar cracking and all that, so clean out all your joints and then once you do that and finish your wall, you're ready to start grouting. All right, so I got all my stone laid. The last part of this is just pointing. I mean, if you can tell, I already did a little bit and I gotta do the bottom part here so i'm almost done with this but let's give you a quick tutorial on how to do this so you fill up your bag twist it and uh squeeze it fill up all the cracks pretty good like that all right once I fill them all up I'll show you the next part the next thing you want to do is slick it in so basically what you want to do there's a couple different ways to do this but this is how I like to do it I like my stones to pop is what you would call that I like them to like poke out from the mortar like more focus on the so basically I have a couple different size slickers here and I rub the mud in and then all this extra stuff I just scrape away all right and then there's gonna be stuff stuck to the rocks which it should be dry enough where it doesn't do anything you just scrape the extra away so I make sure to follow the whole stone both of them make them pop and then you slick it flat same thing over here, scrape away, scrape away, slick it flat, scrape away, slick it flat. The reason I have different size slickers is because when you have different size joints, because they're not going to be all consistent, because it's stone, you can just flip it around, or you get a skinny one, you can slick it in the, the skinny spots, right? Alright, you got them all slicked in. And I take a firm brush like this and I brush away all the lines that I left in my slicker. And I also keep my little slicker in case I, the brush doesn't get them out. You know, if there's any extra mud, you cut it, cut it away here. Cut away the excess and you brush it all out. And once you're done brushing it once, and cutting away, I come back and do it again so it looks more smooth because you leave a lot of uh, crumbs on here. So you do this part here two times. All right, once you hit that again, you get all the extra boogers out. There's all this stuff all over your face here. So I just brush them clean. With this brush, it's kind of firm as well. If there's anything that's stuck to it, that comes off. Yeah, I might have to, you know, give her a little nudge sometimes with the brush. But that's it. So that's uh, pretty much everything that I have about laying a stone wall like this. There are different ways to do it. Like, uh, you know, you could dry stack them, which means there's no joints. Uh, yeah, whatever. 
Uh, if you got any questions, just drop them in the comments. I'll be happy to answer them. And uh, thanks for watching.